Hello and welcome to the second annual Gotham Sound International Expo. I am joined first up by Aj from Bubblebee. Aj, thanks for being here. No worries, Nick. Thanks for thanks for inviting us along. It's good to uh, good to be a part of and it. So, uh, since we're international, why don't we just start off by telling us uh, where you are right now? Uh, I'm at the Bubblebee Sales and Marketing Office. We are based in Gloucestershire in the UK. And shipping and manufacturing is based in even another company, is that or country? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That takes place in Riga, Latvia. Our our, our warehouse is actually on a boat, which we call the BBI mothership which is incredibly cool. The good thing about fur is it's very light. So uh, yeah, no, uh, no chance of the boat sinking. <laughs> very cool. Um, all right. So uh, like I said, thanks for being here. Um, but Aj, what, uh, what would you like to share? What are you working on? What's new? What's exciting? What, what's going on? <laughs> so uh, yeah, the thanks. Thanks, Nick. Um, we, are, we have been very busy recently. Uh, we've been developing a lot of new products um not too much that i can say at the moment unfortunately but you know keep a look out on our on our social media channels we've got a few things coming in the in the love space and um maybe one or two in the shotgun mic space a little later down the line um something that we've been working on a lot recently as as a few of you may have seen is um our pricing um you know we know times are tough for everybody at the moment and rather than increase our pricing um, on certain product ranges, we've been doing our best to streamline the way we do things, try and manufacture things a little smarter. So, yeah, the um, we've recently in in the last couple of months reduced the price of the Sidekick IFB in air monitor uh, by about fifteen percent. So, the the mono version was two four five dollars. It's now two uh, two oh eight. And the stereo version was three six seven. That's now three one one. So you know things like that, trying to bring down the pricing to, um, yeah, to benefit the, uh, the the sound mixers out there. Um, also on the the wind killer, mm -hmm. uh, our slip on windshield. Uh, previously that was about eighty nine bucks. It's now seventy three. So that's come down by about eighteen percent. So you, things like that, we're trying to do our best to work smarter and pass that benefit on to our customers. I am I'm sure that you can't share industry secrets, but I, I'm very curious about what the what the smarter was uh, to do that, because you guys have been making the wind killer for for quite some time. Yeah, uh, we've, we've been looking at um, the, the, just the way we manufacture um, in, you know, doing things in a little higher bulk. We've been looking at the way in which we package things, uh, packaging is is something that we've always tried to to put a big kind of onus on. Try and make things a bit more eco friendly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, kind of you know, with the sidekick in particular, I'm just going to uh, show you the new packaging. We're repurposing the the, the mic accessory cases that we use. Mm -hmm. So rather than have its own bespoke case like it was before, uh, we already have these these lab mic boxes and. If I'm honest, I, I feel they're a little better suited to the sidekick to store all the accessories and the little compartments. And then we just use one single piece of cardboard uh, around rather than three different pieces, which takes a lot of assembly time and stuff as well. So those are the kinds of things that we've been looking at. Cool. Uh, same, same with the wind killer. Nice. And I want to go back to something that you said about environmentally friendly, because I know this is a bit of a, an old promotion, but at the end of last year, um, there was a, uh, you know, a green lav concealer promotion, and it wasn't yeah. actually a, a green color. Um, it was, uh, well, why don't you tell me about it? And and I would love to know sure. what, what was accomplished through that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, the, the green lav concealer campaign was... Um, it was something that we wanted to do to, um, you know, the, we're quite eco-conscious as, as a company. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, one of our colleagues, Chris, had this great idea to, you know, for ev every love concealer we sell through one of our, our eco-partners, of which Gotham signed up to the campaign. So thank you guys for that. Um, yeah, every, every love concealer that was con sold during that campaign, we then planted three trees um, in various locations around the world. So I think we, I want to say the number of trees we planted was about about 7,000 in the end. 
Wow. Um, we're, we're still in the process of just finalizing that. And we'll have a new story up on our website in the next, next month or so. But mm -hmm. that was such a great campaign. Um, you know, we're really happy that um, resellers like yourselves got on board with it. But it was really to kind of highlight as well the um, the lav concealer is made from a, a biodegradable natural rubber. So, you know, the, the reason that we don't offer them in different colors is we don't want to add any harmful chem chemicals, which would kind of ruin that uh, biodegradable sorry, biodegradable property of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry if I'm getting a little off topic. I do want to no get worries. to the, but where does the, the eco-consciousness come from? Is there like a, a, you know, a company mission statement or, you know, what's the, the ethos there? That's something we've been trying to define uh, a, a little more as we go on. But yeah, you know, Paul, the company owner, is he's always been quite eco-conscious mm -hmm. um, in, you know, in, yeah, in his personal life as well as the business. And it's something that we're trying to, yeah, just instill more and more, you know, within our products and our packaging and, you know, the way that we do travel, uh, which is why things like this are so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, um, I mean, your packaging has always been been very slick. So, and it looks, yeah. it looks great. Um, yeah, it looks great in addition to being eco-friendly. So, well done. No worries. Thank you. So there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys today, um, which is a product we've had around for, for a while called the mm -hmm. Cable Saver. Yeah. Some of you guys may be familiar with it. Um, yeah, on the face of it, it's, it's this tiny silicon grommet. To look at it, it's pretty, pretty difficult to tell what the use of it is. So with this product, we kind of Paul designed this quite a number of years ago uh, when he was working on some reality shows. I think he was working on a series of Survivor in Denmark. And, you know, the nature of reality shows, you know, you're micing up a lot of people who aren't used to being uh, wired up and there would be a lot of breakages on set. Um, so he developed this little tool and the way it works is you kind of wrap your mic around it and then it just adds a little bit of elasticity to the mic. So if somebody drops the pack, it protects the connector from breaking. So on that particular production, they managed to, I think, reduce season on season. They reduced their, their lab mic repair bill by about 90%, which was incredible. But one of the very interesting kind of byproducts of, of the cable saver is we, we realized by installing it near the, the top of the mic, it almost completely eliminates any cable noise below there. So I just want to show you guys that quickly. So I'm just going to switch my mic inputs, if you bear with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you got me coming through the lab now? We do, yep. Is that, that level good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I rub above that, can you hear the cable noise? Yep. And then below, it's almost completely gone. Mm -hmm. So above and below. And uh, do you know what lav it is you're using that with right now? Yeah, I'm using the uh, the DPA forty seventy one. Got it. Okay, cool. That is uh, a really interesting and useful side effect of that. Using it at the top of the lab, it you know obviously depends on costume, how tight it is, and whether you can get away with it near the top or or lower down. Um, there, there are certain mics that we we recommend you don't use it with. Mm -hmm. uh, the the Countryman B six, the Sennheiser MKE one. Both of those cables are uh, a little more fragile than, mm -hmm. say, you know, the, the particularly strong DPA cable. And also the, the Sennheiser MKE2 is a little too kind of thick, it's a, uh, a little too stiff to uh, kind of work it around the cable saver. But aside from that, most other labs it worked great with. Got it. Okay. Well, look, we've, we've got to wrap it up now, but um, any parting thoughts that you'd like to share? Um, just to say thank you to you guys for hosting this. Um, it's always amazing to, to work with you guys and thank you to all of our, all of our customers in the U S I really appreciate your support and anything you need from us. Don't, don't be afraid to give us a holler. All right. Fantastic. Aj, thank you so much for joining us and for going first. Uh, as always, you can watch this video and more at gothamsound.tv. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok. Uh, and as always, you can email us with your ideas and questions at info at gothamsound.com. Thanks again for watching.